Today's video is all about building a big bench press. We're gonna take a look at those tips and tricks. We're gonna do that right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness. I'm Adam, thanks for checking out the channel. Today we're gonna to discuss how to build a bigger bench press. How do we get to that 300 pound mark? How do we go past it? Or how do we get to that 200 pound mark? Depending on where you're at, all these tips can be applied to help you increase your bench and get that killer bench press you're looking for. The bench press seems to be used as one of the biggest measures of strength across the weightlifting community. Even if you're not an avid lifter, people always wanna throw around how much can you bench. So building that big bench press is something people always strive for, but it's extremely challenging for some people. So I wanna break this down into three separate tips and I'm gonna rank this from most important to least important as I go down. That way, if you guys really don't wanna stick around for the whole video, the first tip might be enough for you to apply to your actual benching to uh, maybe surpass where you're at, uh, get a new personal record. But I definitely recommend sticking around all the way to the end of the video to hear each tip. Now in my own personal lifting, I've used these tips to help myself get to a 315 pound bench press. Now at 163 pounds, I was super happy with growing up, 300 pounds was the goal. And I do wanna say, I'm not gonna include this as a tip, but I think having a goal is super ideal. Say if you're benching 120 pounds, and you know you want to set a goal maybe in the next three months to hit 140 pounds having a goal or something to strive for is always going to keep you at least honest to yourself and honest to your workouts it's going to keep you a lot more dedicated to actually coming to the gym or or lifting in your basement wherever you're actually working out at now i don't want to bore you with talking about my lifts i want to talk about your lifts how do we get your numbers on the bench press bigger and how do we get you stronger so let's break down tip number one Tip number one is gonna be frequency. Now this is important to know how often you're actually benching in a week. If you're trying to build a bigger bench press and you're only hitting once a week, that's not really ideal. I used to do Monday as a bench day and then Tuesday as legs, uh, Wednesday as back and then shoulders. And it was kind of like that, that bro split style of training and you wouldn't get back to bench until maybe Sunday or a Monday, uh, depending on how many days you're gonna take off during the week. So that wasn't really ideal. I built my bench, uh, I got stronger for sure, because I came from doing nothing to all of a sudden now I'm hitting, maybe I was hitting nine sets per week, but that's not enough. Depending on how often you're training, you should be ramping up your number of sets. I think a, a good range is between 15 to 20, but that nine sets a week isn't enough. If you notice your gains aren't where you want them to be and you're starting to slow down, you're starting to plateau, mixing in a second day is gonna be very crucial and it's gonna be helping build that strength by adding additional sets. So the way you structure the workout, it's totally up to you. But what I'm recommending is if you're only doing one day a week with chest movement, mix in a second day down the line. If you're doing two days a week of chest movement, maybe mix a third day in where you're doing a little bit lighter work I just like to mix in a third day where it's a little bit more active recovery, where you're just doing some movements to stimulate the muscle, but you're not really crushing it. You're not trying to destroy it and get super, super sore or anything. We're just mixing in that third day to have some additional volume and additional chest work. If you're enjoying the content from these videos, please subscribe to the channel where I drop new videos every week giving exercise tips just like these. Tip number two is lift heavy you're not gonna find yourself being able to bench a lot of weight if you don't get your muscles and your nervous system prepared and actually accustomed to lifting heavy weight. If you're benching 135 pounds for say 20 reps, and that's, you know, you do three sets of that, you're gonna get stronger. But it's not in an optimal fashion. I mean, your endurance, you're building mitochondria, your endurance is gonna go up, that's great. If that's what you're training for, that's awesome. But if you're trying to build a big bench, that's not the most optimal path to take. Lifting heavy weights for lower reps is gonna give a better stimulus to those muscles and prepare them for other max lifts and heavy lifts that you're doing. And this isn't just my opinion here, the studies show this too. On the screen here, you can see a study that was able to show that lifting heavier weights led to more optimal strength gains versus moderate or light weights. Tip number three is variation. Anyone that benches and works out, you find yourself hitting plateaus all the time. Variation can alter the stimulus that your muscles are gonna be feeling and help surpass plateaus. 
I do personally feel like there is a frame to weight ratio that you can lift and you start to have to really be super, super dedicated and consistent where that frame to weight ratio that you can actually lift starts to you know peter you out. And that's kind of where I felt like I was at 163 pounds to be able to bench 315 or 320. At some point, I'm gonna get to a weight where my frame to weight ratio, it just can't lift any more weight. So in order to get to that point, I'm gonna recommend mixing in variation. Now variation can be altering the weights that you're lifting. Some days I'll do, I'll do the ladder pyramid sets, and then other days I'll just do traditional like five by fives where I do five sets of five, uh, five reps. Other days you can work on more explosive movement, maybe do use lighter weight. You can mix in pause reps. Negatives are one that I actually really like. There's a lot of different movements you can mix in to add some variety. I think you, you do have to remember is that you don't have to overcomplicate the exercise for it to be effective. Simple movements are still really effective. I recommend finding a few exercises that are a little bit different, alter the stimulus to the muscle, that maybe help you fatigue that muscle out and help you increase your bench press. If you follow these tips and tricks, there should be no problem with increasing your bench. If you're someone that already follows all these, great, that's awesome. Stay consistent with it, and then you should definitely see results. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Click like and subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. Uh, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Recently hit 100 subscribers. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, hopefully going forward here, I can do more videos. I'm trying to get to eventually twice a week upload schedule. I created my first Ask Adam video last week where I'm trying to answer some of your questions. So if you have any, drop them in the comments and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.